back this Thursday. Great to have uh, Byron Kamak with us from the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. This is Safe Boating Week, all week long leading into the Memorial Day weekend. Make people aware of staying safe on the lake, so to speak. You came staying at the perfect safe. time. I did. Y'all got me right here at the culmination of it all, right yeah. at the weekend. We're so fortunate you're here. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm very fortunate to be here, and I thank you all for giving me this opportunity to uh, speak to the folks at Sin Law and sure. to encourage them right. out there uh, as we get prepared for this uh, big, biggest, this is our biggest right. boating safety weekend and it's, out it's, there. It's going to be really hot this weekend, so I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to be want, want to be on the <laughs> rivers and the lakes. Yes, sir. It sure is. Uh, as, uh, as our biggest weekend, we uh, want to encourage people. We're looking for safe, responsible, mm -hmm. educated boat captains out there. Right. Jump in. Right now is the time where you got to get out there and inspect your vessel. Make okay. sure that's where yeah. you start, right? That's where you start. You got to inspect that vessel, make sure it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. All your personal protective equipment inside that vessel, your life jackets, mm -hmm. whistle, sound producing device, fire extinguishers if, if the boat is required to have it. All those need to be in proper working order. Do we need papers? Serviceable. Papers on your vessel, yes ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papers on your vessel. Um, we're, we're out there this weekend is the big kickoff for us. I mean, yeah. we've been out there already and we're going to be out there all summer. Okay. As enforcement agents, we're looking for a personal flotation device, life mm -hmm. jacket, PFD, however you want to say it, for every, every occupant boat in needs, that. Yeah, yeah they every all need to, those are essential. Right. Are and, you required to wear them? Uh, well, there, there are instances where you are required to wear them, but you're not necessarily required to wear them unless your age or the type boat dictates that you have to wear them. So uh, to go over that really quickly, um, if you are 16 years old and under, you have to have that life jacket on okay. whenever the boat's underway. Whenever you stop for, uh, let's say, a lunch right. or swim <laughs> or fishing, you can take it off. But when that boat's underway, you got to have it on. Okay. Uh, if you're over that, if you're 17 or over, you don't necessarily have to wear them, but we do encourage that. Uh, if you're in a small boat, a 16-foot with a tiller handle on the back, it's a real popular boat here in Louisiana because mm -hmm. of all the small bodies of waters we have. Yeah. Anybody in that vessel is required to have it on. Gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, ma'am. Um, Some other tips, let's uh, talk about, a, you know, one main thing, obvious thing, a lot of common sense involved is yes, avoid the alcohol. If, yes, sir, we, we, we do stress that. Um, yeah. Alcohol doesn't mix with a lot of things. And uh, boat operating is one of those things. Uh, um, here... In Louisiana, it's the same thing if you're in a boat or if you're in a, a vehicle. Mm -hmm. The it's DWI treated the is treated the same. If you're suspended on the road, you're suspended in the water as well. Um, okay. You need to have a designated driver in that vessel. Okay. okay. I mean, we know that people like to bring their alcohol on the water. It's not recommended, but it happens. We need a safe, sober operator behind the wheel. And you can't have al alcohol in a boat if you're 20, less than 21 years of age. Right. You, you still have the age limit restrictions. Yeah. Just on, as on you would with a vehicle. Just Byron, you, you brought up a point to me about uh, keeping an eye open for underwater obstructions. I've never oh, thought yeah. about that. Oh, yes. We, we, we have all, all kind of lists. And uh, yeah. you can look on our uh, website. We have things, uh, tips, a lot of information, a lot of good educational things on our website. But submerged objects, that's things that people don't really think about. The river has been up. They're going to be moving sandbars. They're going to be moving obstacles such as logs and stumps that have sunk yeah. that you can't really see because the water's murky. And uh, boaters, when they get out there, they're going really fast. They don't see those things. And, hit them, launch people out of the boat, sometimes into things and you know. And yeah. so many people are going to be on the water, so safety, um, safety being aware of who's around. Yes ma'am, boater great. education classes, that's one of the things. You think that that's important to take some of these to the, the boat uh, boating yes, safety courses? Yes sir, it's very important and it's required if uh -huh. you were born after January the 1st of 1984, anybody in the state ha is required to take that course in order to operate a vessel. You have provided us with so much information today. Thank you, Byron, for being with us on Good Day Soon. Well, thank you all for having me. Once again, our website, you can look yeah. up all kind of things. There. Yeah, go to the website again. You want to repeat yes, the website for us? It, yes, sir. It's wlf.louisiana.gov, and you can find a wealth of stuff there. Thanks, Byron. Thanks for dropping thank by. You're going to have a busy weekend. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ready, set, go. More thank to you. come on our show. Stay with us.